Question one of the 2020 level two electricity exam. Right, question one. Um, in a first class cabin, the seats are fitted with four heating units, two, ha uh, two for hands, two for, two for heat. The heat units have a resistance of six ohms and the foot units have uh, 10 ohms. The heating circuit is connected to a 20 volt, uh, 28 volt supply. Show the combined resistance of the hand units is three ohms. So these are the hand units. Um, they are in parallel because the current splits. Um, so we have 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Because um, it's a show question, so we're going to show that uh, R total is going to be equal to 1 divided by, because we'd divide both, we'll get 1 divided by both sides would flip it. So well, that's a pretty poor way to explain it, but. Anyway, um, oh, this is R1, this is R2, um, and that is equal to 1 divided by uh, 1 over, was it 6, plus 1 over 6, um, and that equals 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is 2 over 6, and then 2 over 6 is the same as 1 over 3, and then you can just flip 1 over 3 to get 3 over 1, so that equals... 3.0 um, ohms and it's because it's 2 ECF there should be 6 this is 2 ECF 2 ECF 2 2 2 um, there you go so your answer should be 2 ECF right calculate the current flowing through the ammeter so we have the resistance of this block uh, we need to find out the resistance of this block um, I mean this is if you have two identical resistors and they're in parallel the total resistance is half of of one of the resistors because you can think of it like I always use the analogy of doors. If you're going like trying to get out of a building and there are two doors, you can get twice as many people. If two doors are the exact same size, um, you'd have half the like resistance to flow, so twice as many people would be able to get through. So your resistance is half of the like the sum of these two. So in other words, I know this is going to be five. So it's going to be five plus three is eight. So I know the answer is that, um, but I better do it properly like I've done down here. So we're going to go uh, total. It's going to be equal to um, 1 over, uh, yeah, I need to find the total resistance before I can find the total current. Um, plus 3, which equals 8 ohms. Again, because 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 equals 2 over 10, um, which equals 1 over 5. Then you can flip that, which gives you 5 plus 3 is 8. Um, and now we have V equals I R, that should be an I, um, in other words the current is equal to, and this is V total divided by R total, so the total voltage is 28, and we divide that by the total resistance which is 8, um, and that is going to give us, let's do that on my calculator, 28 over 8 equals 3.5, 3.5 Amps. There we go. Um, one of the foot units stops working. Explain what effect this would have on the current through a single hand unit. So back to the whole door analogy. If you're trying to get people through and we've blocked one door, everyone has to go through this door so that increases the resistance. In other words, it gives these, like everyone has to go through that door, so it's going to take longer. I mean, it's not a great analogy, but it's, it's just all right. Um, so the, the resistance of the total this unit here has increased, but because all the current has to go through here to get back to the negative terminal, that means that the total resistance of the whole circuit has actually increased, um, which means the total current's gonna decrease. So that means the current going through either of these hand units is gonna decrease. And that's the answer to the question. So I'll pause it and then like write it slightly more coherently than I've said it, um, and then go through it. So I said, when one foot unit stops working, the resistance of the circuit increases. As the total resistance has increased, that should be here with the D, um, and the total voltage is constant, and it pays us to chuck that in to say it's constant, the total current decreases. Thus, now you need to answer the question, the current through the single hand unit will decrease. So you need to answer the question at the very end, which a lot of students often don't do. Right, um, last question. As an upgrade, the airline adds an additional heating unit labeled R, um, when the new heating unit is added, the power output from the supply, so this is P total, 
So total output, uh, power output of the whole circuit is 120. What is the value of the resistance R of the new heating unit? So when you've got the power formula, you've got power equals current times voltage. Um, but you can also write this a few different ways. We can say that we know voltage is current over, uh, uh, voltage is current times resistance, IR. So we can have I squared R if we substitute it in for voltage. Or we can have, we know current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So we'd have V voltage divided by resistance times V, which equals V squared R. Now we look at what we've got. We have the voltage, we have the power, and we should really try and find the total resistance of the circuit. So then we can work backwards and find just the resistance of this component. Um, so this formula here is probably the one that we're going to have to use, and that's the one we will use. So we will work backwards and rearrange for R. So we're going to show so show that uh, R is equal to V squared over P. We just move the P under and the R up. Um, and that is going to give us 28 squared over 120. And I'll quickly do that on my calculator. 28 squared over 120. 6.533. 6.533. And put repeating just so I know. I can, and I'm going to save this in my calculator. So it's going to be, oops, it's going to be my saved answer for when I redo this. So now I know this is our total as well. So that should be V total, P total. Um, and that's ohms. There we go. Um, right, so now we know that R total is going to be equal to, we know we figured out that this is 3 ohms. So when you do these questions, it pays to just like circle things and just put that this is 3 ohms. Um, we know that this here, um, these 10 unit ones can be just tacked together and that's 5 ohms. So really, we have 3 ohms plus, and then because the 5 ohm and the R are in parallel to each other, we'll just put it as 1 over R plus 1 over 5. There we go. Because we, we figured out previously that these two added together equal uh, 5 ohms. So we don't need to go 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 because it's a bit unnecessary. Um, and that is equal to 6.533. 6.533. Um, but what we should probably do is, and this is going to have to be 1 over this as well. 1 over 1 over R1, uh, 1 over R plus 1 over 5. So it's 1 over, because this is the parallel unit and you invert it at the end. That's one thing I often miss. Um, that should just be, move that out to show this is 1 divided by all that. Um, so now we're going to go 6.33. Oh, I might just rearrange it fully. So we're going to go 6. We'll go, wow. Well, hmm, yeah, okay, we'll do it step by step. 6.533 minus 3. And that would give us, ordinarily, 1 divided by all of this. Um, but because I'm going, to divide, I'm going to go 1 divided by 1 on both sides, so I'm going to have 1 over this. And that is now equal 1 over, whoops, that is equal to 1 over R plus 1 over 5, um, and now what I'll do is I'll go and move the 1 over 5 to that side, so I'm going to have um, 1 over, and I'm just going to, this is 3.533, uh, 3.533 recurring, because 6 minus 3 is 3, and then you've got that decimal place stuff going on, um, minus 1 over 5, and that is going to be equal to 1 over R. In other words, R is equal to 1 divided by, uh, uh, and then I'll put this in some brackets, 1 over 3.5333, that'll do, um, minus 1 over 5. And that's going to give me, quickly do that in my calculator, so this is when you're going to go 1 divided by bracket, uh, i put two brackets in, because I'm going to go 1 over 3.5333 bracket minus bracket 1 over 5 bracket bracket. There you go, 12 ohms, or 12.04 ohms. Um, 12.045, 
ohms, and everything's at 2SF, so that's just going to be equal R, is going to be equal to 12 ohms, because it's 2SF. There we go. And the other way to well, the other way to do it is you could have used this formula here, worked out the total current. Why? Well, yeah, yeah, worked out the total current. Then you would have known the current going through here, and then you could have worked backwards to find the voltage across um, across this branch. Um, you'd have known the currents through here, so you'd be able to work out the individual current going through here. You'd have had its voltage, and you could have worked out what the resistance is from that. But yeah, I mean, this either either way is fine.